Martin writes, Dear Movie Talkers, if Deadpool is, 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 is a success being a Marvel rated R movie, what property from DC could you see being a rated R movie? I will love to see Suicide Squad rated R, but I think it's just too big of a property. That being said, what do you think will be a rated R movie that DC would release? Uh, none. None None movies uh, will be the end. Charles Roven, who's the producer of... Uh, Batman v Superman and the uh, Christopher Nolan Dark Knight series and Man of Steel. And he's going to be producing all the Warner Brothers DC films moving forward. He recently did an interview with our own Collider.com. And one of the things he talked about was the the ratings of their film. And he said, our universe is going to be a PG-13 rated universe. And here's the other thing. Honestly, I don't want any DC property to be rated R. Deadpool is kind of the one guy to me that's like, you know what? Uh, maybe uh, maybe a Ghost Rider, if you're going to do Ghost Rider. Maybe a Lobo, if you're going to do Lobo. But there are very, very, very few characters to me that, that I would stop and think, nah, this needs an R rating. I can't think of any that would benefit from it at all. And once again, a lot of people, there are some people out there who's stupid enough to believe, hey, if you say, you know, drop the F-bomb two or three times, that makes the movie better. Hey, if you show some boobs, that <laughs> makes the movie better. I might be with you on that. Yeah, but, I am. But, but 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 no, it doesn't. It's not necessary. You don't need to do those. So, um, like, if any DC property that they are doing could have maybe made sense as an R, it would be Suicide Squad. But they've already said they're doing that PG thirteen as well. And if they're doing Suicide Squad PG thirteen, I take Charles Rovanetta's word. I think they're mm -hmm. aiming to make all their Warner Brothers DC cinematic stuff PG thirteen, and I think that's the right rating for it. And a schnapp. You have a, a better grasp on the whole comic book universe that way. Do you buy into Roven saying we're going to make this whole thing PG-13? Or do you think some properties might benefit from an R rating? I don't think any of the DC uh, universe properties, like the standard ones, like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Justice League, any of the ones that are in that universe and need Waterman. to be anything, Waterman, any of those guys <laughs> and gals, they can be PG-13. I think the ones that would benefit from going into the R-rated world would be the Vertigo line like Sandman, mm -hmm. like Swamp Thing, like The Demon, like any of those darker characters that are obviously even... The, it's a DC imprint that was outside of the, the normal Marvel Universe called Vertigo, and that's kind of, I think, what they're doing with Sandman. He's going to exist in this Vertigo imprint. So I think that's kind of where I, I would like to see Warner Brothers slash DC take a chance with an R-rated film by doing that. But those would probably, if they did make those films, like I think we're seeing Sandman getting developed, those would probably be happening outside of the Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman totally. world anyway. So that offers you a little bit yeah, more freedom to do that. That's what I mean. Yeah, I yeah. think the DC proper universe with all those superheroes should stay PG-13. It makes sense. Mark, yeah, I, yeah I don't think within this this universe that DC is making cinematically so far, you're going to see anything rated R, but something like The Authority where it's just so violent. Totally, but even yeah. violence, you can do so much blood and guts now and still keep it PG-13. So even Sandman or The Authority, which aren't as well-known characters, so you might want to make them PG-13 from a marketing standpoint so you can get your film out and more people will get their eyeballs on it. The Killing Joke is an animated movie that's coming out that they hinted might be rated R. So an animated R-rated DC movie could happen. <laughs> it just won't be tying in to the Batman v Superman universe. I think they hinted at it, but it won't happen. It'll be yeah, a I hard PG-13. <laughs> Wouldn't it you know? be something, though, though, if they tried it and kind of went a heavy metal route with it and like did something really Really extreme. Well, they that would did, be, I they, can't see him doing it. They but. did it with the uh, the Batman Beyond, the Joker. Remember that right. episode where it's like they did a re they released an unrated version. I believe they had like a regular version, and then they had the the harder version, which is it's an animated. I can't remember exactly what it's called. If you remember, please write in. She'll Ashley will look for it. It's like it was called be Batman Beyond, like Return of the Joker or something. Where it's like I remember seeing it, but I. I Really, an unrated version? Yeah, maybe I mean, that unrated like, just means instead of PG, it'll be PG thirteen. It was pretty harsh, yeah. though. Was yeah, it pretty yeah. harsh? All right. I mean, we can all agree that boobs make movies better, though, right? I mean, yeah, in principle. Not, I mean, not, most right? of us will agree on that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.